Hey, everybody. <laughs> oh, boy. Happy Wednesday. Happy Monday, part three. Subscript two. Mm. Don't mind my munching and crunching. I have a snacky snack. Um, yeah. Thank you to everyone that came to my test stream where I was hoping I could, um, I don't know, force my PC to crash. So at least I would have an idea of what happened. But it looks like uh, Mercury was in Gatorade or something. I don't know. Because I could not figure it out. But I hope everybody carried over into uh, the actual stream just fine. Uh, B, have a good day at work. Welcome in Nate. Welcome in Brooks. Uh, Yosh was here earlier. Um, hope you all are doing good. Um, so, <laughs> uh, but yeah, can't figure it out. Doesn't seem to be anything crazy um, on, at least on my hardware end. Um, so, oh no, I'll worry about it when I cross that bridge again. Um, so I'm just glad it hasn't happened yet. So without any further ado, let's jump back into Pentiment and see how many people I can disappoint today. Because last time we were in here, we discovered that that douche g brother guy is stealing from the Abbey. Which led to the Abbot being convinced that he needed to raise taxes in order to compensate for the close of the scriptorium after um, my testimony got Brother Farinick in Act 1 uh, executed. We are now at the end of the day, at the day that, or at the start of the next day. Um, maybe. Hold on. What time is it? Uh, comp line. Sleep hour, so it is time for bed. Okay. So... I was gonna say, I doubt, uh, I have, I have exhausted my time. So the only thing I can do right now is go to bed. Let's see what happens. is getting interrupted. Uh-oh. Uh, Andreas, get up. Wake your boy, too. Why? What's happened now? We're finishing this. You're needed in the comments now. Oh, so he isn't even making good on the time allotment that he gave me. Let's go. We'll be asking the questions, Mahler. All right, all right. We'll get dressed and be along. Well, who are we getting killed today? Casper, wake up. Pastor Andreas? What's going on? It's the middle of the night. Something's happening in the comments. Peter and the others want us there. Will we be alright, Master Andreas? Don't worry, I won't let anything happen to you. We'll be fine. Or at least we'd better be fine. Because now apparently that's going to be remembered. Alright, now that everyone's here, we can start. Start? Start what? Rolling a trial for Otto's murder. You're the one with the evidence. Oh, crap. Um... Nathan's brought me a drink. Which one's this one? That's the six pack abs. That one's all yours. I don't like that one. 
Um, Peter, the Duke will pounce on any hint of rebellion. We can't let this go too far. This isn't a rebellion, Mahler. This is justice. Well, what have you found? We're all waiting. Hold on, I barely had a day to investigate. I can hardly come to a conclusion so soon. Answer the man. Please, Andreas. Give us the killer. Calm down, everyone. This isn't fair. Well, you better fucking decide, Mahler. Or you can watch that damned Abby go up in flames. Be quiet. I have a woman in labor right next door. This behavior is shameful. If she loses her child because of this fighting, it will be on your souls. Agnes is right. I know you want justice for my husband, for your friend, but I don't want things to get worse than they already are. Please, Dad, give Andreas a little more time. Mm. Fine. Andreas, you've got until that baby is born. After that, we'll claim our justice. Work faster, Mahler. It's the right decision, Peter. Eh. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, there is a dude wearing stuff. Good evening. Mm. Is it customary in tassing that the people gather in the commons in the middle of the night? <laughs> we do what needs to be done when it needs to be done. Who's asking? My name is Tristan from Fraunberg. I'm here on behalf of the Duke of Bavaria. Oh boy. The Duke is aware that you've been distributing and discussing the 12 articles. He is also aware that you've been disputing the conditions of taxation and land use with the Abbot of Kearsau. The Duke is merciful. He does not seek to punish Tassin for these disputes. But his mercy has limits. The Duke has become aware that you have imprisoned the Abbot and the monks of Kearsau within the Abbey. This is an insult. This is rebellion. For this, there can neither be tolerance nor mercy. You have until sunset tomorrow to vacate Kearsau Abbey and release the abbot and all monks. This is not done. The Duke's soldiers will enter the town and the abbey in force. As certain as night follows day, they will kill every man and boy who stands in their way. What? God protect us. No, no. Oh. We never wanted to threaten the abbot, sir. He wouldn't listen to our demands. We're starving. Such efforts were necessary since the townsfolk are also suffering under the abbot's, in abbot's increased taxes. The duke is aware of the town's complaints and finds some merit in them. He believes some concessions can be made regarding the death tax and the use of the forest for wood. Of course, only under the strict condition that the abbot is released unharmed. And what do the peasants get? What about our taxes? What about the right to use the wood for gra woods for grazing? For fishing? The Duke is unwilling to make additional concessions. You can release the abbot and take what is offered, or you can remain defiant and face the consequences. It will yield you little, save steel and fire. Sunset tomorrow. Oh boy! We are so fucked! <laughs> we are so screwed! This is not good! <laughs> oh man! Oh no! Oh, no, I did not mean to go back to my room. Well, I hope everybody is ready for absolute crap. <laughs> this whole town is gonna get leveled and it's gonna be my fault. Okay, I wonder if I can get the medicine now to aid it. you, Master Mahler. Hello, Sister Margaret. Sister Gertrude said one of the townsfolk was killed? What happened? Otto Zimmerman, the town carpenter, was crushed by part of the construction of the rat house. Oh, no. I heard some of the sisters saying it was murder, and the peasants chased the monks into the library. 
Sister Zena said, even said they're accusing Father Abbott. Is that true, Master Mahler? Um, yes, but it couldn't have been the Abbott. I'm trying to find out who really killed Otto. I pray you do, Master Mahler. Everyone's getting scared. I heard Sister Sophie crying last night, crying. Mother Illuminata says God will preserve us, but everything just keeps getting worse. Maybe the Lord is punishing the Abbey. Uh, why would God want to punish the a punish Kirsten's sister? I don't think the Abbot should treat the peasants so harshly, but I don't know what to think anymore. Has anything else happened in the convent recently? Well, a man ran into me when I was washing lettuce in the herb hut a few days ago. Is that so strange? Yes, even in a joint monastery, the sisters and brothers' quarters are separated. You should have been in the church since it was almost Vespers. Oh. Strange indeed. Do you remember anything about him? I can do my best, even though the hut was dark. I knew it was a man because his figure was taller than any of the sisters, and he grunted when he bumped into me. Could it be one of our suspects, Master? Mm, perhaps. Did you recognize his voice? No, he didn't say anything, but I felt the texture of, the, of one of the habits when he bumped into me. His skin was softer, too, and he was knocked back when we collided. He grabbed me and moved me out of the way. No beard, either. Well, that narrows it down a little bit. What would a brother be doing in the herbal hut? I don't know. He startled me, but was in and out of the hut before I could call out. They hanged things around, too. I think he was one of the younger brothers. The rest aren't light on their feet. I can hear them shuffling all the way across the garden. That still leaves a few suspects. Brother Lucas and Brother Guy both fit that description, as does the abbot. But the abbot has his own house. What would he be doing sneaking around in the herb hut? You're right. Father Gurnett would just order one of the brothers to get something for him anyway. Master Mahler! How cheeky! <laughs> that leaves Lucas or Guy. If I may, Master Mahler? Yes, Sister Margaret. Brother Lucas and I are friends. I don't think he'd hide from me. That leaves Brother Guy. Guy is young and fast enough to be in and out in a flash. But Sister Margaret, what was he doing here? I don't know, Master Mahler. I couldn't tell what he was doing or if he took anything. By the time I realized what happened, Sister Sophie came and got me for supper. Did you tell any of the sisters? I told Sister Gertrude about it, and she agreed it was very odd, since whoever it was should have been at supper. I might be able to help you identify which herb jars he grabbed. We should get her blessing first, though. She's a spickler about her herbs. Would you help me find her? Of course, Sister. Interesting. Okay, I don't actually have to find her. I mean, that's nice. Not like they would actually let me into the place. But that's interesting. That certainly does implicate Guy further, as much as that's, as much, you know, much of the abbot's chagrin. Sister Gertrude, may I take Master Mahler into the herb hut? We're looking for anything that the man, uh, that man might have left behind. Uh, your mystery intruder. Why are you so interested, Andreas? I'd like to see if whoever it was left anything behind, uh, anything behind that may be connected to Otto's murder. Very well. I'd prefer you not just open every jar, however. Some of the herbs need to remain sealed. Then how are we supposed to figure out if he left anything? I know the jars by sound. If you gently shake them, Master Mahler, I should be able to tell you which ones he picked up when I came in. I know he used three of the jars. Once we find all three, we can figure out which is the last one he opened. All right, that sounds reasonable. This way then, into the herb hut, and let's shake some jars. Oh boy. No, some 
something different. I love this mechanic. Yeah, this mechanic. Nope, something different. What's the stinky one? It was empty. Mandrophora. Nope, something different. Woad. Oz. I'm I'm happy for whoever the Foley artist was that had to do all of these. Nope, something different. Urtica. Yes, he definitely picked up that one. Okay, so it's Urtica. I'm going to write it down even though I'm not going to end up having to. Popover. Pungo. Nope, not not the Pungo. What about the Ringola? Not the Ringola. The Wantworts. Okay, picked up the Wantworts. Okay, and that's all of them. Pass them around. Please take each jar in order, and I'll tell you if it makes the right sounds. No, he opened a different jar first. Okay, so we opened the want words first. No, okay, so Ertica, okay. Oh, jeez, I have to do... This is silly. Okay, Wantworts, Urtica, and the top of her. Yes, that's right. That's the right jar. Wonderful oil. It seems like it's still sealed. It's quite heavy, finally. It seems like it's still sealed. Let's see what's inside. Money! This is where Guy is hiding his money. That's a lot of money. Brother Guy was hiding all this in the herb hut? But why? Brother Guy? He's in charge of the treasury. Why would he need to put all this here? I'm not sure, but it's definitely suspicious. I should do some more investigating. Anyway, thank you both for your help. All right, well... It's funny you mentioned I watched Yoshi's finish Republic Commando earlier, and one of the game's extra special feature was actually on the game's full. Oh, was it really? Although they did lizard people foot sounds with pineapples. I I can't even fathom how that worked. I need to talk to Sister Gertrude. You don't understand. I have to talk to Sister Gertrude. I've got a brother who needs meds. Nope, that is the wrong button. Cut pineapple in half, make foot sounds. Slap, slap, slap. I mean, yeah, but wouldn't it have like a slight squelchy sound? Yep, it does. Oh, that's, ew, grody. That's a grody. Hey, profusion! That's what pineapples should be for, and definitely not for pizza. <laughs> oh, there's a sister Gertrude. It bless you, Andreas. Um, Sister Gertrude, I have need of herbs for chest pain. Brother Adak is very ill. Yellow Genshin, perhaps? Or Fraxinella? Do you have any? Oh my, Master Miller. Unfortunately, I have none in the herb hut right now. 
There's yellow Genshin higher up on the mountain, but I recall there being some in the forest as well. If you can bring me some, I know of a broth that should be of help. Thank you, Sister Gertrude. I'll set out with haste. May God shine mercy upon Brother Aduk. Take care, Andreas. Oh, thank you for thank you, uh, Ultra Mod Nate, for being on top of like so on top of shoutouts today. I really appreciate it. Um, <laughs> I love that there's just whose emote is that? Oh, it's a global emote. Mm 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 mm. <laughs> no, don't hate it here because I also think pineapple doesn't belong here. <laughs> it doesn't belong on pizza. Uh, so far, so good. Um, haven't been able to figure out why my stri why, why my PC crashed yesterday, and we're just sitting here on a hope and a prayer that it doesn't happen again. <laughs> I okay, yes, I 100% agree, Nate. Uh, Profusion, if you have not had hot honey on pizza, um, you absolutely should. Um, hot in terms of spicy. Temp hot in terms of temperature is uh, just a byproduct of the fact that it goes on a hot pizza. Um, oof, blue screener just got stuck. It blue screened. It blue screened twice yesterday. Once at like like earlier in the afternoon and then like 10 minutes into stream. Um, it made me upset spaghetti and I have pushed my machine to the limits trying to see if I could force it again and nothing has happened. So... Um, hopes and prayers. <laughs> uh, God bless you, sister. How are you faring? Uh, Mother Illuminata is grieved to hear about Otto's death, as am I. The Lord granted me the gift of knowledge and grief, so I will help the sisters how I can. Mm, what do you mean? I lost my husband and son before I took my vows, Master Mahler. Lord willing, I can now guide the sisters in their grief. I pray your counsel soothes their spirits. As do I, Master Mahler. God bless you. And you, sister. Aww. But I don't think. Oh! Master Mahler, I didn't see you there. Are you alright, sister? I... Yes. I'm a bit on edge today, that's all. God bless you. She's a bit on edge? Why is she on edge? Sophie killed Otto. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I hope that's the one thing that I haven't poked around at is the motherboard. Um, every, everything else is in tip-top condition. So, God is angry you're engaging in this blasphemous entertainment. <laughs> he is not pleased uh, in how I am conducting my investigation. He, she, it, they... Who knows? Uh, we've run mem test, CP, GP. Yeah. Yep. Mm, yeah, none of those things triggered anything. Hey, welcome in, Scritchy. Yeah, we t like none of my hardware is getting up to temperatures that would force a blue that would bring a blue screen. It's so weird. Try to replace the thermal paste. It's on the list of like it's like Plan B. Um, like, it's not ruled out, but it's, it is really weird. Um, so. Okay, hold on. Okay. Oh, there is, there is a thing that is on fire back there. Has that always been back there and on fire? Why is that town on fire? Yeah, I hope it isn't either. But seriously, has that town always been on fire? Back there. <laughs> we took it to TJ Maxx. Okay, I'm pretty sure the yellow Genshin is not there. God dang it. I think it is over here. Run, 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 run. It is this one. The yellow Genshin, exactly what we need. Hopefully Gertrude can use this. Alright. I want to do that. What else did I want to do? Okay. Every blue screen I ever got was caused either by an ancient system running a modern OS. 
some shitty knockoff peripheral or driver bug. Yeah, I'm banking on driver bug. Because uh, my only, well, not only, but like the next thing like I plan on doing is watching my event log um, to see what tasks are, tri are triggering at like around the times that the crash has happened and seeing if that gives me any indicator. But we'll see. I know it could have been it could have been anything. Like I looked at my computer wrong. Oh wait, I have gone to the wrong place. Do 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 I need to get to sister Gertrude. Oh, that's the wrong door. Again. Do 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 gotta save AI. Do 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 Hello lady. I found your flower. Yes, I have it. The grace of our Lord, fortunately, these are a bit f uh, are a fair bit dry already. Yes, uh, best to grind and mix the Genshin into a broth with a few other herbs for calming the body. We'll take a bit of time. Come back later, Andreas. Okay, so while she works on that... I need... Okay, hold on. I need to actually read my quest log. Um, okay, she's working on that duplicitous accounts. We know that guy is being an ass. Um, I guess we can poke around with the golden hand, though I have definitely blown up that family. Um, can openly impose on my comments this hostile relationship with the peasants. I, sh I could go talk to the miller. Um, so it's the miller or the golden hand. I'm going to go talk to maybe I'm going to do the miller. No, <laughs> I have no idea who Samuel is still. He's just the dude. Good morning, Mr. Smillerin. Good morning, Master Mahler. My husband has been talking about your arrival. We're pleased you've done so well for yourself. Um, thank you, I see the mill's been doing well. Lenhard works relentlessly to keep it in good condition. He's very proud of it. It's uh, unique in these parts, inspired by the designs used in the North. So it's very profitable, too, and that's important to Lenhart. Mm. Who is this young man? Casper, my apprentice, not my son. Hello, mistress. Oh, you must meet my darling Paul. He would love to meet someone uh, his age pursuing art. Just not where Lenhart can see. Um, yes, Casper and Paul have been introduced. I'm certain they would get along well. That's very good to hear. Paul does not have many friends with similar interests. They're not easy to come by. He does not have many friends in general. Mm. Then we'll have to figure something out. I wouldn't mind, I guess. That would be delightful, Master Mahler. Casper, thank you both. You're welcome, Elf. Uh, I know it's returned to my work, Master Mahler. Until later. Until then. Where is Lenhart? Hales, do you know your husband is banging the innkeeper's wife? Let's just blow up more families. Hey, Lenhart, what's up, dork nuts? I'm gonna pet your dog. First. Yeah, fuck this guy. Fuck brother guy. Fuck Lenhart. All these blondes are sus. Oh, Mr. Mahler. Why is the Yes, I see. Shift to walk. Thank you. <laughs> ah, Andreas. It appears you're caught up in another murder again. Quite unfortunate timing for you. Quite unfortunate for you, given your meal with Baltus and Dr. Stoltz. <laughs> ah. If I can find the real killer, prevent more bloodshed, maybe it's a good thing I was here. Just stall them. Either they'll see the error of their ways or the Duke will send soldiers to Tassing. 
Yes, a show of force. That will quench the peasant's bloodlust. In any case, if you get tired of investigating, my door is open. If you'd like to join my family for a meal or see the mountains, just let me know. See the mountains? Yes, for a brief hunt. Hunt? Yes, for deer. I might be able to help you get some perspective on the situation. With soldiers surrounding the town, are you sure that's safe? They're surrounding the peasants. The Duke knows I support the abbot. I always have. You and I aren't in danger, Andreas. If we want to hunt, we can hunt. I'm investigating Otto's murder. A hunt hardly seems appropriate. <coughs> if it would help, I can tell you what I know. And I know a fair deal. What do you know? No. Come hunting with me, and I'll tell you. Uh, he sounds like he's dropping a, a threat, personally. Um, he's going to kill me. <laughs> yeah, potentially dangerous. Uh, probably worth looking into, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, fine. Wonderful! You'll have to leave the boy behind, though. He'll slow us down. I understand. Casper, can you stay here with Paul until we return? Alright, master. Here we go! There, there. Oh, it's it's a camp. It's a soldier camp. It's not a town. How's the climbing suiting you, Mahler? It suits me just fine. I always love a good hike. I had a chance to do some hiking in the French Alps a few years ago. This isn't as spectacular as Mont Blanc, but it's lovely. We'll... Well, take a moment to appreciate the view. Let me know when you're ready to continue. I can see all of Tassie and Kearsau from here. I probably have enough time for a quick sketch. We sketch it. Despite all of Tassie's troubles, it looks peaceful from up here. Why is this so hard? It's like my mind just wants my hand to stop. I can't even draw something as beautiful as this valley. Useless. What a waste of time. Run away! Look, you can see the Duke's soldiers getting information around the town. Peter has no idea what he's gotten the peasants into. Come nightfall, it'll be too late. You seem rather happy about the whole situation. I am. It's about time the peasants were brought back in line, reminded of the order of things. All that space devoted to fields. It's a pity we need the peasants to work them. They lead hard lives and do difficult work. That's not my problem. God saw fit to make them peasants. They're grist for God's mill, and no one wants grist. We just want the flour that comes from it. And yet without grist, there'd be no flour. Like I said, it's a pity. Still, their women are of some value. Jesus! Don't misunderstand me. They're as stupid as the men, but they do have some charms. When they're young, of course, they age like buttermilk in the sun. <laughs> what does it matter to you? You're a married man. Andreas, marriage is for raising children, keeping a household. There's nothing wrong with enjoying fruit from a tree in another man's yard from time to time. Jesus. This dude! Can we just push him off the mountain? <laughs> he's, I know, he's completely shameless. Yeah. Oh, really? And how many men have enjoyed the... Oh, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna suggest that about oh, Els. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'm not gonna suggest that about Els. Els hasn't done anything wrong. What if he starts beating her? Given your contempt for them, I'm surprised any peasant woman would lay with you. Their husbands are fumbling oafs, fat, ugly, and stupid. Some of them don't even know what the touch of a real man should feel like until I've been with them. As for the rest, 
they're easy to convince when there's a poor harvest year or when they're behind on their taxes. So you force them. It's their choice. No one's being forced to do anything. Starve or sleep with you? What a twisted way of looking at the world. Your jealousy is showing, Mahler. The truth is that they all want to be with me. They just need an excuse to ease their conscience. <laughs> Something I'm sure you've never been burdened with. As a fat, fumbling oaf. Aww. Why are you so mean to my husband, Nate? Well, that's enough talk for now. You ready to head up? Yes, let's continue. This guy is such an ass. Deer come through this clearing at all times of the year. There's a natural blind up ahead. We can watch from there. Because you know we can take it. Me. Ultra mod. I have to admit, I didn't think much of you when you were last in Tassing. Poor artist and all that. What changed? You made something of yourself. Became a master in Nuremberg. In seven years, you've gone from boarding in a rundown peasant's hovel to running your own successful workshop. Men like us make our own fortune. Didn't your father build the mill? The old mill. I built this one. The only windmill in Bavaria. With his fortune. You're missing the point. We built something for ourselves. Peter Gertner will toil the same field his father did until he drops. Big York will do the same. Peasants ask for the world, but they can't even comprehend what's outside their tiny plot of land. This rebellion by the farmers, it won't go anywhere. Whether it ends peacefully or violently, they won't win. If they need a scapegoat for Otto's death, look to Martin Bauer. Why would he want to kill Otto? Martin didn't want to support Otto's little rebellion. He was quite happy with the way things were. Something changed recently. I think Otto learned something about Martin that Martin didn't want to get out. It was dire enough to change Martin from resisting Otto to wholeheartedly supporting him in front of the whole town. In front of the town. Elon Hart? What? What? Like Elon Musk. Oh. Uh, negative self-talk is generally... Yes. Negative self-talk is bad for everyone. Um, I'm just calling this guy Elon Hart now. Yeah, it's, it's a, uh, now I'm putting things together. Listen, the train, the brain train jumps tracks and sometimes it ends up back in the same place. We're here. Um, but yeah, um, this definitely sounds like a, a certain musk. Hmm. That's it. What evidence is there? Find some. If Otto found out, others must know or at least have suspicions. Shh, get down. He's there. See him? You lead. I'll follow. I'm gonna get shot. There, I shot the deer and I fucked up. I shot it in the foot. What was that? The gun isn't the most accurate weapon, but I hit the deer. What more do you want? For you to be more careful. Oh, relax, Molly. You're fine. Let's find this stag. It can't have gone far. God, I hate this dude. Oh, It's still breathing. It's not dead yet. Looks like we both wounded it. And it's not enough. It's easy enough to kill a dumb beast when it's helpless. You seem to take pleasure in overpowering helpless creatures. It is the nature of a wolf to feed upon sheep. You're a miller, you make flour. I'm a miller with a gun.
sorry to everyone who's had to witness this. Now then, let's find a long stick to carry the deer. Oh, and he's having me. Ugh. It's a good hunt. Thank you for coming with me. Thank you for inviting me. We both have an interest in seeing this situation with the peasants resolve quickly. Think about what I said about Martin. Fine, have it your way. Good luck, Andreas Mahler. So sorry, Eva. I knew something like this would happen. He believed in what he was doing. I know he was doing the right thing, but Andreas, I was so scared. I don't know what I'm gonna do now. We'll get through this, all of us. If my brother doesn't get us all killed, but I hope he doesn't. I'm sorry, Andreas. I'm just so tired. When's the last time you ate something, Ava? Oh, I... I'm not sure. I should eat something, for its sake. Would you mind sitting with me? Of course. <coughs> Thank you for coming. It's not easy being alone right now. I know you're here, little boy. We're happy to keep you company, Eva. Thank you, Andreas. I know you have your own problems to deal with. Please sit. I'm sorry, it's... I'm just used to my father or Otto praying. Would you like me to pray? If you wouldn't mind. Bless us, the Lord, and these are gifts for which we are about to receive from your bounty through Christ our Lord. Amen. Um, ooh. Watch over everyone in tasking to yourself that no one else comes to harm. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you for doing this, for trying to find Otto's killer. I know my father and the others, they forced you into it, but I appreciate it. Otto was a good man, Ava. You deserve to see his killer brought to justice. He always spoke highly of you. I'm glad you feel the same way. Ava, may I ask you something about Otto? I know it's hard. It is, but I need to help if I can. Do we want rye bread, rye bread, or rye bread soup? Why do you think, um, who do you think may have had cause to kill Otto? The abbot, of course, but there were others in the town who resented Otto for what he was doing. I should have come for, to here first. <laughs> It must have hit it well, because it seemed like everyone around here supported him. Most people support him. But it bothered my father that it took the inheritance and forest laws to get Otto on our side. The peasants have been dealing with the abbot's taxes and property schemes for years. You remember what happened to Atelier Kemperin's farm? She and her husband worked that land for years. She's been reduced to little more than a beggar working for the church she hates. Excuse me. 
the taxes and restrictions apply to everyone equally in passing, don't they? Just because they apply to everyone doesn't mean we're all affected by it equally. The peasants bear a heavier burden, especially when they aren't allowed to pay their taxes with crops. And the families around here used to depend on the forest for fish, for firewood, for grazing their pigs. You can't say that someone like Dr. Stoltz or even Klaus is affected the same way as my family or the Powers. There would be some people who are unsympathetic, like Lenhart. Of course, but no one hates the peasants the way he does. I can't think of anyone who spoke against Otto. He managed to convince most of the townsfolk of the peasants because he was right. Or if the cause was right. If anyone harbored resentment about it, they kept quiet about it. Surely there was some opposition initially. Yes, of course, people debated it in the comments, but no one got that heated about it, aside from Lenhart. I'm sorry, I don't think I can talk much more about this. I just want it to be over with. Of course, Eva, thank you for your help. Mistress Eva, are you feeling well? You've barely eaten anything. I don't have much of an appetite, but I'll be alright. I'll eat a bit for its sake. Thank you, Casper. What about you, Andreas? I'm sure you weren't expecting this to interrupt your trip home. Um, no, but the visit was pleasant until then. It was nice to see Tassing again, Carousel again. It reminded me of when I enjoyed my work. It's been a long time since I felt that way. What do you mean? You always seem to love painting. When I saw your masterpiece just before you left, I still think it's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. What happened to you in these last seven years? Oof. I lost touch with something, Eva. I don't even know why I do this anymore. Sounds like you need to make something new. Something for different people. You have a talent that could reach more people than you know, Andreas. What do you mean? Think about Klaus. Even a peasant up here in the mountains can afford the books he prints and sells. The words and images in those books can help us understand places and things and ideas that we will never be able to see for ourselves. That may not matter to all of us, but to some of us, it does. It matters to me. So if you want to make art that matters, make it about something important. And make it for someone who cares. Maybe you're right. Oh no, it's feeding time. Of course. Thank you both. Thank you for the visit, both of you. It helps. Think about what I said, Andreas. You don't have to be unhappy. I will. Thank you. And thank you for trying to find justice for Otto. God bless you. She's such a nice lady. I feel so bad that Otto's dead. talk to Martin or his wife. I hope Martin won't talk to me. Brigitte will. Hello, Andreas. Could you spare a moment, Brigitte? I suppose. What do you need? It was so strange seeing Martin. What do you mean? It seems like he came back from his travels a changed man. For the better, yes. For all the grief he gave me, we're happy now. Is that so bad? No, no, of course not. He did get into an argument with Otto when I was coming into town, though. What happened there? My other questions about my husband, Andreas. someone might want to murder Otto. 
Otto was pressing Martin to support him in the town commons, Andreas. Martin has changed, but his history in the town is remembered. He doesn't want to cause more trouble. He didn't want to speak in the commons because he's afraid of the abbot. They squabbled over it, that's all. <coughs> Otto threatened Martin if he didn't cooperate. What was your husband so afraid Otto knew? Help me understand the truth, Brigitte. Hell yeah. Martin does have a secret. I'll tell you. My Martin never came back. He died on the road. The man who came back is Jobst Ferber. He traveled with my husband, and when Martin died, he took my husband's place. Martin's dead! Oh my god! <laughs> they looked alike. No one even noticed. Jobst has been a better husband than Martin ever was. He had a rough past, but he's a changed man. He saved the farm and our family. He works hard and lets me spend as much time with Veronica as I want. They are so lesbians. He's a miracle I never expected to have. I don't know how Otto found out, but I'm not surprised he held over jokes to get his way. That wasn't fair of Otto, but jokes wouldn't kill Otto over it. How well do you know Jobst, really? Please, Andreas, I'm pregnant with his child. He's a good man. Leave us out of this. Jobst isn't Martin, Brigitte. You don't know what he could be capable of. Maybe. I'll see you later, Andreas. Until then. Well, holy shit. That's not Martin. <laughs> Andreas. Hello, cat. Martin seems different from how I remembered him. What, what changed? Oh, that's right. He was still gone by the time he left Tassing. He returned several weeks later, like he always did. It was his travels or time that changed him? Only God knows the truth of a man's heart, but I suspect the challenges he faced on the road improved his memories of home. He hasn't stolen anything or run off in years. Truly, the Lord provides for his faithful. He and Otto were arguing the other day. Do you know why? Were they? I'm sorry, Andreas, but I don't know anything about that. Martin supports Otto in his cause against the abbot's taxes. They didn't have any cause to fight. I don't know, Cat. Their argument was quite heated. Would Martin have any reason to hurt Otto? Of course not. They've become close friends these past few years, like brothers. Even brothers quarrel. After Franz died, God bless him. Uh, God bless me by returning my son to me healed of his darkness. We should be giving thanks to the Lord that led Martin to the light. Mm, frown thoughtfully. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to disturb you. I'm trying to figure out who really killed Otto. Trust me, Andreas, I know my son. No, you don't! Because that's not your son! Martin would never do such a thing. Yeah, because he's dead. Thank you for talking with me, Cat. Thank you for hearing me out. Until later, Andreas. Until then. Holy butts. Okay, well, there's that. I mean... Who... Who is this Jobst guy? What kind of trouble did that guy used to get into? Oh boy. I wonder, can I talk to... This is gonna take time. Can't talk to the lady. Master Mallard, is there anything I can do for you? Nico, have you heard anyone in here talking about Otto's murder? Not just talking about it, but, you know. Yeah, you know. He understands Casper, thank you. <laughs> like they had something to do with it? Oh no, I think I remember hearing something like that. And then again, I try not to eavesdrop on conversations. I don't want to get yelled at, or worse. Maybe you could find more luck talking to people. Beer always tends to loosen people's lips. Buy a round for everyone and you can have the run of the place. You'll be here a while, though. Interesting idea. Maybe later. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna go see if Adix Medicine is ready and then see if we have time to do that. 
I don't want Ada to die on us. Pet slow. Man. I have learned interesting things. But I'm convinced that the only man who is, like, creeping up on, uh, maybe deserves divine retribution is Lenhart. <laughs> uh, this way, this way, this way, this way. In here. Cuz... Fuck that guy. That's a Sophie. Gertrude. Andreas, there you are. I have the curative for Brother Adek. I hope it is enough to alleviate his affliction. I did what I could with the time and tools available. He will appreciate the help no matter what. Of course, of course. God bless you and all the brothers in these dire times. I hope this awful outbreak ends soon before any bloodshed. As do I. Thank you for your help. Be safe, Andreas. Am I going to scare Sophie again? No. Let's get that medicine to an old dude before he has a heart attack. Because that would be bad. In we go. Hey, Dick. My friend. Whee! Brother Adek, I had Sister Gertrude make something for your pain. Oh. You shouldn't do that. The others. As you care for others, I must care for you. As you care for others, I must care for you. Andreas, I never would have guessed back in the day you to be an angel on Earth. Rest easy, brother Adek. All right. Well, we did that. I feel like this is going better than uh, the last time. So... At least we have that going for us. Okay. <laughs> okay, no. Now what? Um... Yeah, the, the man has been calling himself Martin Bauer for the last several years is actually an imposter named Jokes Farber or Faber. Nico couldn't tell me. Okay, so I guess let's. Um, to the inn. And let's go buy alcohol for everyone because that can only make things better, right? I'm definitely not screw anything else up for me. thought to buying the house around of drinks you'll be here a while if you do yep i'm willing to give it a try have a seat then folks filter in as they finish their work for the day whoop grark oh boy hey andreas here says he's buying drinks for everyone before you get too excited i'd like to say a few words about the man tassing lost otto zimmerman I know it's hard to think about anything but the Duke soldiers right now, but just listen for a moment. Up on the table. Otto was an ordinary man, like any of us. But he stuck up for the people in this town. He was a loving husband to Ava and a good father to us. His reward in heaven will be equal to his good deeds on earth. To Otto. Ooh. Huh. Dude. And Father Thomas is looking a little upset. Everyone, please exercise moderation. Do not drink too heavily in Otto's memory. We aren't Lutherans. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. 
Well. Barbara. Werner. Do I get to learn who Samuel is now? I bet I do! <laughs> so... I'm guessing the three hours are gonna be what take up time to talk to the three people that are available. So, let's see. Let's do Werner first. I think he has to take a... Oh, no. Uh... Si, Italiano! Get a pasta, I eat the rigatoni. Oh, that's so. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. Ah, Master Mahler, thank you for the drink. Care to join us? The other doctors and I are having quite the chat. I'd love to join you. Certainly, I'll introduce you. Uh, gentili dottori. Permettimenti di presentare blah 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 blah. Hey, check it out. This is this is not this is Andreas Muller, an artist. Um, okay, so we have Marc Antonio, Orsi, Vincenzo, Ambrosi, and Angelo, Gesharni, esteemed doctors from Boulogne traveling to Flanders. I just recently shared a meal with Master Muller, but I have been blessed with his company again. Oh, that's right, I speak Italian. E una piace, whatever. It is a pleasure to meet you. Uh, tutti italiano. Oh, what a relief we can speak in Italian. What were we discussing? Mm, dinner time, my mom made a pretty essential. Oh, happy birthday! Enjoy birthday enchiladas. I'm jealous. We had enchiladas yesterday, and all I want are enchiladas right now. Yeah, excuse, excuse. The Naturalis Historia di Pellino il Vecchio. Plenty of the Elder's natural history. E una merda. It's shit. That's unnecessarily reductive. Why, why are we doing all of this in Italian and then... Andreas, are you familiar with Pliny the Elder's natural history? Yeah, thanks for... I'm so grateful you were born, Brooks. And I hope that the annual celebration of the eviction from another's body goes well for you. And that your next trip around the sun is lovely and full of awesome stuff. I'm good at birthday wishes. You're welcome. Uh, that would be funny. Why would an artist know natural history? I read parts of it out of curiosity. It's interesting to me. <laughs> and then he will still be grateful that you exist. It's not the sort of thing most people would read for pleasure. Is your interest in medicine or nature? I just like reading. Um, nature. Well, unfortunately, you might not take much pleasure from this conversation. Well, where were we? It's shit. So said Niccolo Leon. 30 years ago, uh, said, Leon, Leon, Leon Chino. Um, this is nothing new. Why does it still need to be debated? We are all using the text in our practice, so the debate is ended, is it not? Unless Leon has published a work to replace Pliny. This is not a useful conversation. Of course he is not, but the question remains if the mistakes in natural history are simply transcription errors or something worse. 
even Colleen. Uh, Pliny's greatest defender admits there are translation errors. Everyone accepts this. True, true, yes, yes, but Leon's criticism is deeper than that. He also calls into question the Arab sources we rely on to identify our medicines. Between transcription errors and bad sources, why does anyone still revere it as though it were the word of God? Dare we ask your opinion on the matter, Andreas? It's been over a thousand years since Pliny wrote natural history. It's time for educated men to make a new reference. Great. We'll get started right away. Well, he's right. We can either complain about it or do something about it. Pliny's not going to come back to do it for us. Didn't someone just die here on St. John's Eve? Angelo, that's who we toasted to. Andreas bought the drinks. Oh, Dios mio. Oh my god, I'm sorry, Andreas. My German is so poor, I don't I didn't understand. Don't trouble yourself over it. Did you know the man well? Yes, I considered him a friend. Ah, then I pray I pray that he is near to God. I was there when it happened, or right after it happened, at least. That's right, Dr. Stoltz and his neighbor were the first people on the scene. Was that what all the commotion was about? It woke us up, but we didn't know what was happening. Interesting. Did you see anything unusual around that time? We called for, out for the innkeeper. He and his boy came out and looked confused. Anything else? Oh, shoot. Damn it! I heard there was an accident by the town hall. There was no accident. Someone intentionally loosed some lumber that dropped on the poor man's head. As he arrived on the scene, Dr. Schultz saw a suspicious figure lurking in the darkness. Que cosa! What? It was murder? Maybe it was Hannah. Yes, and the peasants are blaming the abbot. Que scandalo! Is it true? The abbot a murderer? What a scandal. Do you remember anything else about that night? No temo di no. No, I'm afraid not. Ah, well, the entire evening is still shrouded in mystery. It was nice meeting you gentlemen, but I must attend to other business. Safe journeys. Stoltz looks so pissed. <laughs> Many thanks. God be with you, Andreas. Oh, Andreas. Yes, we're... Oh, I passed something. Maybe it's nothing, but the murderer has got my mind turning over possible suspects. I've seen Otto and Mark Bauer take, talking a great deal in the last few weeks. I can't guess what the matter was, but you should know there's something strange about Martin. Well, he's strange how. A year before you came to Tassing, I treated young Martin Bauer for an injury. He cut his side open, falling on a rough fence post. The wood was jagged and tore the skin considerably. It healed quickly enough, but it left a bad scar, about eight inches long and four inches wide. What's so strange about that? I examined him for a minor rash a month ago. He doesn't seem to he doesn't have the scar anymore. It's completely vanished. Understood. Thank you, Werner. Think nothing of it. Listen, I occasionally thought poorly of you, but I realize you're an honest, hardworking man. Why would I tell him that? The people of Tassing should be proud to have you. I, I appreciate the sentiment. Until later, Andreas. I hope that's useful to me at some point, because Stoltz is an asshole. <laughs> okay, we already know that Martin isn't Martin. What's up, Barbara? Are you the man to thank for the drinks? Oh, it was, uh... In truth, the drinks are to honor a dear friend who recently passed away. I simply wanted to toast and drink to his memory. A kind gesture. Thank you. Yes, thanks. It was a long road here from Muldorf. 
We came to visit the Shrine of St. Moritz, but the sisters said it's closed because of some trouble? I think they're just trying to protect it in case the peasants get rowdy. Oh, is that going on here too? Too? We heard about the miners in Salzburg. Oh, no. I don't think... I don't like the sound of that, Master Andreas. It will be all right. Have faith. I'll try. I'm sorry, but was it you... Uh, what was it you were saying about traveling to the shrine? Well, our priest told me to take a pilgrimage here after God saved my little goat's life. Oh, I'm glad that God saved your goat. That was so nice of them. I'm very happy for your goat. She means the boy, Philip over. Oh, kid. I'd love to see a live, a live adaptation. I have to be 80s procedural TV show. <laughs> Father Downing, but yeah, in the 16th century. 100% agree. I gotta turn on the lamp one second. Uh, and I would, I would watch this. I would watch this show. <laughs> God damn it, Philip, get off the table! Whoop. Don't curse, Father. Alright, alright. Little boys can be frustrating. Sometimes you can't help but curse. <laughs> anyway, the boy climbed up in a tree, jumped off, and landed on a landed his hand on a board with a nail through it. His arm swelled up like a bloated pig in the sun. Must you describe it that way? Well, it did. He had such an awful fever, like he was boiling in his own skin. Pray to God to save my little goat, and the next day, a miracle. It's true, that very next day. Thank God. I intend to, that's why we came. I asked our priest in Muldorf how to thank God. Since the little goat's arm had swollen so badly, he said we should take a pilgrimage to see the hand of St. Moritz. Philip Wolf. Oh, he's on another table. So you can imagine how disappointed we are that the shrine is closed. Um, this will all be a resolve soon. It's just a misunderstanding between the peasants and the abbot. If you say so. This nonsense in Salzburg has been going on for months. Probably that Martin Luther's fault. <laughs> There's not Martin bringing over a child. Philip! I'm sorry, the boy won't listen. It's no trouble. Imagine, like, MacGyver age Richard Dean Anderson isn't right. Exactly. Absolutely. Do I know you? It's possible. I traveled around a bit when I was younger. I must be it. Thank you for returning the boy. Were you here on St. John's Eve? No, we arrived yesterday morning. Why? trying to figure out if someone in town was involved in my friend's death. No, I don't think we could help with that. <laughs> Alright, thanks anyway. Until next time. Until then. Okay, well. Alright. Last stop. Samuel. I raised my all right? You're staying here at the Golden Hand, aren't you? Yes and yes. I am as well, named Samuel Grau. I'm recruiting men to become Lanchnecks. Well, when some actual men show up. Excuse me, I don't think we've met. How do you know my name? People say you got the Abbey's Prior killed a few years back. In a way, yes. Well, it doesn't bother me any. I've killed dozens of people. I was just telling him Hans and Fabian about the life of a Lanchnecht. What's the pay like? Is it dangerous? Four gold a month, and yes, it's dangerous. Mind that you do have to pay for your own equipment. How much? Eh, 13 to 15 gold. Damn, that's more than 10. Aw, good job, Hans. Yes, it is. It's three to five more than 10. Do you have 10 golden? Oh, no, I don't have any golden. You see what I'm dealing with here, Mahler? You, boy. <laughs> Me? Yes, you look like you're from a family that isn't completely impoverished. Want to join up? <laughs> well, I 
have you tired of being my apprentice yet? <laughs> the boy is my apprentice. Oh, my apologies. No offense intended. I understand your instincts, though, Caspar. Casper is a fine lad. I'll never let you down, Master Andreas. Please don't let me become a knight. Or a mercenary. Well then, would you be interested in playing a card game to pass the time? We're playing Lance Quinet. I think I played that with some soldiers and tours. Well, you haven't played my version, but I can explain the rules as we go. Wanna play? Uh, fuck it. Why not? The rules are simple enough. Pay attention, boys. If you forget everything else, remember that if that you want to see a card that matches what's in front of you if you get dealt to uh, if in front of you get dealt to the center. That means you win. If you see matching cards going into the discard pile, your chances of winning are going down because there are only four of a kind in the deck. Now at the start of each hand, everyone has to ante in money to play. Four players, we each ante a penny. After the ante, the dealer shuffles, then deals one card to every player at the table, starting with himself. All cards are dealt face up in this game, so we all know what we're dealing with. The value of the card is only important if we run through the whole deck. It may influence your strategy. I have no strategy. I hate mini games. I hate card mini games. In this game, the queen is the high card, followed by the king, then the farmer. Each turn you can raise, uh, you can raise by the anti stay or fold from the game. Uh... Uh -huh. Okay, he's got the king. Uh -huh. Fuck it. However, if any player raises, every other player must meet the raise. When all players are finished, we deal three cards into the discard pile, then we bet again. Listen, I'm not good at card games, guys. You go come here for card card management. Then one goes in the middle. If it matches any player's cards, that player wins. If it doesn't match, we go through another round until someone wins or we run out of cards. Lots of bells happening. Congrats, Hans. Uh, you would have won the money if you were playing a real hand. Okay. If you run out of cards, the highest card wins. If multiple players have high cards, the highest suit wins. Uh, leaves high follows by hearts, bells, and then acorns at the bottom. All right. Let's play a real game. <laughs> it's all in. Sir, it's the opening hand. <laughs> Sir, this is a Wendy's. Listen, don't take me to Vegas. Oh, man. Then expect me to play a card game. I'm here for the shows. Alright. Real game. Let's not fuck this. Oh, I am at the bottom. out of acorns. I'm gonna 
lose. <coughs> I have a better fold now. Samuel just went through all of the instructions. I wasn't God, Nate. It's what you yelled at me for. Thirteen, dude. You mean the guy with the bower on the right? You know the word bower. You're like, I bower. Bower. Be. He said that the the face cards are the king, the queen, and the bower, or on the farmer. Brooks, tell me what to do. Brooks, this is now your game. Tell me what to do. <laughs> it's just matching suit, because that's what it was the last time. <laughs> Stay again, see what pops out. Oh, he folded, okay. If I keep being reckless, I wonder if it's just scripted for me to win. Go until you see either a queen or a six discard, okay. rewarding just being involved. Mm. Now the one hand has been dealt. The dealer hands the deck to the player on his left. Now he's the dealer for the next hand. Dad says she brings food to the men working on the rat house. My dad says she's always over there. Seems weird. Maybe it's just Christian charity. Come on, boys, back to the game. So you have an open invitation to tell me what to do, by the way. You're not Brooks. You weren't even paying attention to the instructions. Nate's over here trying to backseat game me when I've only given permission to Brooks. Bet. intuitive card game knowledge now. Okay. Um, it's getting a little dicey. Oh, that's a bell. It's still just the same odds. So do I just keep betting? Oh, 
Lynn Hans one. The money doesn't matter. No, I want to win. I want to win. way up. I'm up. <laughs> I'm second up. <laughs> Have you traveled far, Samuel? I suppose. Small of the Empire and down south. Navarre, Milan, Via. Unless you're really far away. I've never heard of any of those places. Via, I've heard about that battle, I think. You fought the French? Mm, French and Italian. Swiss too. Beat them all. I saw the king of France humiliated as my brothers took him prisoner and let him down from the field. If I die in my sleep tonight, I can say that I basked in glory for one day of this miserable life. Should I fold because there's no way that, like, I mean, I've only got one more. Okay, now I fold. Yeah. Okay. Good for anyone. Oh, nope. Ah. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Hans is raking in that cash. May as well, right? No. Why is the queen higher than the king? Because our lady is the patron of all land checks and I choose to honor her this way. Yeah, I was already, okay. Sixes, one of ones. Two sixes now. Fuck it, who cares? Okay. This is basically poker, but more press your luck. Ugh, I hate that. Okay, he folds, yeah, because he's out. I bet. Oh. Boop, boop, boop. One, two. 
two kings out. Three kings. I have to, like, I've got no more kings. But if I stay, like, I could win the 17, right? Because there's only one one left. No, there's three ones. And I've got the higher, I've got the higher suit. No, there's one, two, there's three ones. There's three ones down in there. And then there's one, two, three kings. It's just the dude and I with our cards. There's no, there's no either one of us winning except by me who's got the higher, right? Like I'm understanding this, right? <laughs> I just want to know that I'm understanding what's going on. <laughs> and he's all in, so we've run out of cards in the deck, so the high card wins, which is me. Yeah, it's gonna kill me for losing all that money. Uh, <laughs> I wish you better luck with that then. All right, that's one out. Okay. All right. <laughs> I, I kind of understand what's going on now. We're down to three players, so the anti-raise is all increased by one fenning. When we go down to two players, it will increase by another fenning. Is this the riveting content that you guys came here for? farmers are making books and holding guns. It's just what some people call them. Other others may call them knaves, undermen, overmen. They're just just they're farmers. Jeez, a single king hasn't come out yet. Hi Momo. There's one. We've only got one, two out, one king. Okay, two kings. I win. Don't eat shit. <laughs> I win. This just makes me think there's a game called Card Shark. It takes place during the French Revolution. It's about playing cards, but you have all sorts of means of cheating. It's pretty neat. Oh. I mean, that sounds like fun. I do appreciate a good cartoony style, though.
Samuel's gonna end up wiping the board with me once I get the other kid out. Hey, Momo. Sorry, son. All right. You and me, Sam. One and a six. Okay. than I do. Aww. Oh, that's it. <laughs> I'm gonna take all my money. I'm gonna continue until one of us loses all our money. I win. All right. I'm still in the game. I'm still in. money in, Dorcas. He's just playing the game. Nope, there it is. Man. No, my money. He's winning on one. Okay. I'm still in. <laughs> I'm still in, guys. my money. <laughs> I'm sure he'll tell me something awesome if I win, but I don't think I'm gonna win because I'm bad. I've got, I've got terrible luck.
only found three. Uh, no, a king! What? Only <laughs> one five is down there, god damn. was all my money. Damn. <laughs> Samuel wins. Looks like you're out, Andreas. Tough luck. Not my day, I suppose. It's all right, Master, Ma Master Andreas. I know you did your best, and he's going to remember it. Thank God I have art to fall back on. Uh-oh. God damn it! What's wrong with you, blind, dumb? Galante is that for an incident day. Uh, calm down, it was an accident. Logiro, I'm sorry, I swear. What the hell are you saying? Speak German! Uh oh. Come on! What do you want me to say? It's just beer. Oh, you wanna fight? You came to the right place, fancy man! No! Oh no. I don't think this is how you wanted it. <laughs> I don't think this is how you wanted it to go, is it, Master Atreus? Uh Hey! Get on the table, Andreas. Tell him to fucking quit it. A man was murdered in this town. His body is barely cold. I bought drinks for you all to remember him and to lighten the burden of his death. I hardly think a drunken brawl is the proper way to remember him. Everyone out. Everyone out. Well, we did it. Everyone will be waiting to hear my evidence now. Best head to town and be prepared to name a suspect. Well, I've done I've done the best I can. My best was not good enough. Shut up! I didn't do that bad. What are you talking about? I, I wasn't, I wow! Wasn't, I wasn't actively mocking you. I was closing a thing. Nate is. Yes, bringing I'm me down. I'm the worst. It's not going well, is it? No, it is not. I have to find the real killer. It couldn't have been the abbot. You don't need to convince me. Best you get on that, then. And rest bodes ill. Peasants are about to do something foolish. I already told them about the secret entrance to the library. I see eye to eye with Peter and the rest, but I don't want them all killed. If they got into the library, I don't wish to imagine what they would do. The soldiers would strike back and there'd be a massacre in Tassing. I have no choice but to stop them. You didn't kill Hollow, did you? By any chance. Do you have any thoughts on who might have done this? It wasn't me, in case you were thinking to accuse me again. Otto's got... I would have had a few conflicts, but nobody I'd call an enemy. Get going, you don't have much time. You're correct, I do not. I don't want to go there. Did Rachel have her baby? Oh my god, she's still in labor? God. Hope that lady has her kid soon. Uh, am I going to the rat house or am I going to... Town Commons, right? Yep. Oh boy. We don't have much time, so let's get this over with. I know some of you are frightened, some of you want to give up, but we have to see this through. Maybe we can't get what we've been fighting for, but we can get justice for Otto. That's right, for Otto, justice. Dad, what about the Duke's soldiers? They've been getting closer all day. 
I know, that's why we have to do this now before it's too late. All we need is for Andreas to tell us who did it. And we're stalling Andreas. We need to know who killed Otto and we need to know now. Can Andreas even tell us the truth? Tell you so that justice can be served, not so you can fulfill your revenge. Andreas is right. Violence is not the answer. The guilty party should face the law, not a mob. I'm not debating this, Ulrich. We're out of time. Acting now is the only way to get justice. We can't let anything stop us. A name, Andreas. Just give us a name. We'll do the rest. She made it, everyone. She made it. Rachel gave birth to a baby girl. Goodbye. <laughs> Oh, and it's bloody. Quiet, quiet. Everyone needs to stay back and give Rachel space. Yes, I can support. All goes well, praise God. Safe and sound and a baby girl. Girl Hashem. With everything going on, with everything that could have happened. God be praised. Thank God. Such a blessing. Thanks be to God indeed. Such a blessing. Such a blessing. Oh, it's a baby. Oh, hi Klaus. Peter, I'm sorry. I can't keep supporting you anymore. I understand your cause, but I need to protect my daughter and keep my friends safe. I've already lost Marie and Bert. I can't bear to lose anyone else. If bowing to the Duke's wishes will protect us, I'll do it gladly. I believe in the cause, Peter, but not at the cost of any more violence. This is a stressful time for us all. Please excuse me, everyone. I need a moment to myself. I mean, look at the little smidgy wedgie. Maybe he's right. This is too much. What about our safety? Uh, maybe violence is the answer. But, uh, how can you all so easily give up? That soldier said the Duke would consider concessions for the town if we release the abbot. Surely that will be enough. It may be enough to approach the Duke soldiers, especially if you let the abbot go. Force will not solve anything. Letting the abbot go and getting concessions is the best solution for everyone, Peter. Letting the abbot go would be justice, wouldn't it? If he's not the one who killed Otto? You townsfolk don't understand. Letting the abbot go won't fix anything. If we can get the concessions we need, all the peasants will starve and die in the end, and then where will Tassing be? Besides, Otto's death needs to be vindicated. Don't walk away from this now, Ulrich. But I have enough information that the concessions may be in a better... Oh, I'm out of little snackies. Um, how sad. Um, will be better overall because I have proof of theft. So, if I can get everyone to live through the day. I have not swayed from the cause, Peter, rest assured. But Ulrich, oh, this isn't your fight. Right. It is moral and Christian to stand with the peasants. I cannot do otherwise. Damn you all, such behavior is reckless and cruel, especially right now. Get out, all of you. Let Rachel rest. Yes, Agnes, we'll go now. Andreas, we're not done. We must still find justice for Otto before the Duke's soldiers arrive. Let's leave Rachel and the baby be at least. The troops have arrived! Oh, he's major! No more stalling, no more interruptions. Tell us what you know, Andreas. Give us a name. Give us a name or the monks can burn along with their precious books. Mobbing the culprit won't give you any concessions. Let us, let's give the murderer to the Duke's men instead. 
The Duke's men have forced us to act. We can worry about the abbot and the soldiers after we've dealt with the killer. Tell us. I have one more condition. God damn it, Mahler, we don't have time for this. Let Casper leave. He doesn't have to be wrapped up in this mess. What? Leave? Yes, fine, the boy can leave. It's not his fight. Oh no. Oh no! Oh no! I made him like me too much! Please, Casper, I couldn't live with myself if something happened to you. No, no, Master Artis, I won't leave you. I know you don't want to, but you have to. Find your way back to Salzburg, back to your family. Please. Master Andreas, you'll teach me again when this is all over, right? Of course, Casper, I'll be right behind you. All right. I'll see you soon, Master. I cared for the boy too much. No! So I just took apart my... Okay, uh, so you're replacing the screen? Find this... Oh, no! <laughs> the screen isn't replaceable. Um, oh, well. I, the huzzah! It is a good day that taking it apart and putting it back together again is is still in the list of solutions available to us. Kalukale. Oh, I can't blame... Ah, shit. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, pick a suspect to rally the mob against. Brigitte admitted to knowing all along the Martin Bauer who returned to Tassing was actually a man named Jobes Ferber. She says he, she kept his secret because she much preferred Jobes as a husband to Martin. It's clear to me from the evidence I've gathered that the man that's been calling himself Martin for the last several years is actually an imposter named Jobes Ferber. Werner Stoltz called Mar uh, recalled Martin having a scar when he treated him as a boy. He found it strange that the scars completely disappeared the last time he examined it. Joshua, one of the peasants staying at the Golden Hand, seemed to recognize Martin from one of the other towns he was passing through. Casper and I overheard Hannah Bergen speaking with Lenhard Miller. She said she was glad someone killed Otto because an uprising would have threatened the pilgrim visits to the Shrine of St. Moritz, which would have been disastrous for the Golden Hand. Also, it's clear she's having an affair with the Miller. Killian Burton gave me a note he found on the floor while cleaning. It's clearly from the thread puller. It suggested that Otto was going to destroy the Abbey and the Hand of St. Moritz. Fabian mentioned that Hannah's frequent visits to the Rat House seemed odd. She may have been inspecting the site for a convenient way to kill Otto. I found the Abbey's financial ledger in the sacristy. Brother Guy has been balancing the books using double bookkeeping method. He keeps meticulous records, maybe too meticulous. There was a mostly blank scrap of parchment between the pages. Its purpose is unclear. But I found a book in the abattoir that seems quite out of place. It's a manual on enacting necromancy rituals. There was also a loose piece of paper with handwritten notes tucked in between the pages. Found fresh lemons tucked inside Brother Guy's old scribe desk. Odd. I recognize the handwriting in the necromancy manual as Brother Guy's. He must have been using this book for some dark purpose. Brother Guy used lemon juice to write an invisible message on the sheet of parchment inside the abbey ledger by holding the parchment over flame i was able to make out the hidden mess uh, make a the hidden message appear it was a second brief ledger of deposits brother guy was making to a Fugger bank account through in a uh, contact in Augsburg. there's a clear evidence that he's been stealing from the abbey i found a jar in the herb hut at the convent containing golden rings and other jewels sister margaret identified brother guy as the monk who hid them there Honestly, Hannah sounds like the most convincing, based on what I've got. Um, well, the thing is, I, I, if I send Jobst onto the chopping block, there is a good chance that he may have killed Otto to protect. Um, his yeah. secret. There is a good chance of that. But if I do that, Brigitta and Kat, and, like, Brigitta is also pregnant. They will be destitute. They cannot, uh, they cannot retain ownership of the farm. I 
And Hannah's being a bitch anyways. And Guy is definitely guilty of theft, but keeping Guy alive will make the Abbot more amenable to making concessions for the peasants. And if he doles out punishment onto Guy, the Abbey's relationship with the peasants will improve. It doesn't, I do agree, it doesn't seem like, Guy is guilty of theft, but I don't think he's guilty of murder. Um, I think that there's some circumstantial evidence that gives Hannah the possibility of being a murderer. Um, and, but I think there's less circumstantial evidence for Martin. Jokes. Other than he's an outsider. Woo. Yeah. And he got, he was drunk and got into a bar fight. Um, listen, I don't have concrete evidence on any of these. In normal circumstances, I would say there isn't enough information, but... Get fucked, Hannah. Hannah, like, I, I got to. Hannah Bergen killed Otto to protect the inn. To protect the inn? Why would the inn be in danger? I overheard Anna confiding in Len, or Hannah and confiding in Lenhart by the old ruins of by the meadow. She was afraid that if Otto pushed the abbot out, the hand of St. Moritz would go with him. No relic, no pilgrims, no golden hand. Hannah spent time at the rat house. Why? What was she doing there if not plotting Otto's death? We should have known. Oh, I've got cats fighting now. Get him, Momo. She's a newcomer here. Never supported the peasants. Never supported what Otto was doing. And if she was sneaking off to the ruins to talk to that bastard Lenhard, well, I don't know anything more needs to be said. I don't think anything more needs to be said. All right, Peter, we've heard Andreas out, but the accused should be allowed to defend themselves. You're not going anywhere, Peter. You're not getting anyone. None of you are. Hannah's under my protection. You're out of time. Peter, I'm so delighted I was able to snuff out that flickering flame of your pathetic rebellion. Listen to me, all of you. It's over. You're done. The only thing you can do now is release the abbot and pray for the Duke's mercy. If any of you set foot near my mill, you'll get none from me. Okay. Damn him. Damn him. <coughs> He thinks he can stop us? All of us? He can't. Peter, this has gone too far. We have to release the abbot before it's too late. To hell with the abbot, Ulrich. And if you won't help us, to hell with you. Peter, listen to Ulrich. He's right. No, he is not. There must be a peaceful way to do this. Peace is a luxury of rich man Andreas. I cannot afford it. To the mill! This is not good. This is very much not good. Stay back, brutes. I won't... This won't end well for any of you. Hannah has my protection. I won't hesitate to shoot you like the animals you are. Stay away from my fucking mill. And you, Andreas? I thought you might have learned something from our little chat. It seems you really are as pathetic as the rest of this lot. Give us a murder, Lenhart. Don't make this a murder. No, you're an asshole, Lenhart. You always had the wrong idea about the peasants. I never agreed with you. I thought you were a man of stature, Andreas, but you're just a spineless bastard. It'll be the death of you. I know it. Else take the boy and go. You don't need to be involved in this. No, Else, get back in there. Don't you dare disobey me, Paul. You hear me, you get your, get your mother back inside. I'm not staying here any longer. I'm taking mom and we're leaving somewhere far away from you. Hell yeah, Paul. You'll regret this, boy. I won't be responsible for how your life turns out if you leave. Hey, Total! What's shaking, bacon? Hey, Raiders, welcome in. I'm the Sketchy Cougar and I do whatever the hell I want on the internet. How are you doing, Tuttle? How is stream? How was the darkness? Are there more worms? Um, did you eat more people? You, you guys are just in time for mob justice. Congratulations, GG! How, okay, so what are your feelings? How are we feeling about it? 
Because that game was wonka doodle. Loved, loved catching up on it, though. You darknessed all over the place? Hell yeah. I would expect nothing less. Player 4, it's so jank. Listen, I'm not, I, I, it may or may not be on my jank list. Um, cause it's, you know, it's got that kind of crunch that I love. I do love a crunchy game. Um, the question is, does it happen before or after score? <laughs> um, and when does that even happen? <laughs> I, yeah. Scorn is a, I'm, I'm ready to experience it for the first time. Um, maybe, you know, after I play something, I don't know, cutesy, uh, because it has been just back to back sad, sad stories making me feel a certain kind of way. Uh, Lenhard, let them go. They've lived under your rule long enough. I should have expected this from you, Paul. You've always been a sad excuse for a son. And else, if you do this, you won't find anyone else to love you. God, this guy's such an asshole. I hate him. He'll be a feckless old crone like that Atelia else. It's over, Lenhart. They're gone. You're not so high and mighty now, are you? You're going to lose everything just like us. Give up, Mueller. There's more of us than you in that mill, and you can't shoot us all. Give us Hannah, you bastard. I didn't kill Otto. I was scared about what would happen to the shrine, but I would never kill someone. Please think of my family. And what about Otto's family? What about my daughter, a widow with an infant son? It's too late to plead for mercy now. You're all mad. This isn't how the law works and you know it. Your blabbering will change nothing. You've never given a damn about law or justice or propriety or fucking decency a day in your life, at Lenhard. Ah, oh, you've let me <laughs> you let me out of my way for years, Peter, and done shit all about it. You've never stood up for anything and you won't get any further today, coward. Peter, Lenhart, please let's search for the for peace tonight. Such language is not Christian. Coward am I? Come down here and face me like a man, you piece of shit. I want to watch Peter beat the snot out of Lenhart. That's what I want to happen. Please, everyone, calm down. We can still talk this out. Violence is not the answer, Peter. You can't blame the man, Ulrich. Forces all Peter and his family knows. It certainly worked with Christine. What the? How dare you speak her name, much less suggest. Ulrich! Yeah, this, this whole th place is going up in flames. Oh, no. Yeah, Scorn is graphic. Oh, yeah, it is hella graphic. Um, I am... I'm... Uh, one day I'll be ready. Yeah, Wicker Man, Wicker Man. We're gonna Wicker Man this, <laughs> this windmill. Lenhart, you killed him! Murder! You monster! Burn him! Make him pay! Justice! You've been a menace on this town long enough, Lenhart, but murder? You've brought this on yourself. Let both the murderers die together. Well, we're wicker manning this. Holy shit. Andrea's troops are advancing on the town. We need to go now. We must let the abbot out so we can talk to the Duke's soldiers. Um... Uh, yeah, you're right. Let's go. Oh, no. Gret is gonna... Now Gret's screwed. Father Abbot, you can come out. The peasants won't hurt you now. Really? Why? Andreas found the killer and justice has been... dispensed. Peter has to keep his word. Are you sure? Please, Father Abbot, the Duke's soldiers have surrounded the town. We have to show them you're, you're in no danger, that the peasants aren't holding you captive. We don't want any more bloodshed, Father. 
Oh, thank God. Is it over? Finally. What's happened at the mill? Is anyone hurt? We saw fire. Peter? You got your mom justice. Yeah, Peter, stop. You got your justice. You swore that you wouldn't harm the abbot or the brothers, remember? I did. No one else needs to die tonight. The abbot can talk to the Duke's Herald. You, Lenhart, uh, you held Lenhart responsible for his actions. We can convince the Duke that what happened tonight was justice. Otto is dead. Ulrich is dead. We can work through this, Peter. Hope is not lost. Everything can go back to the way it was before. Right. The way it was before. Like nothing ever happened. Peter? He's burning it anyways. What is it? What did you do? Dad? God save us. He's lit the manuscripts. Nothing's ever gonna change. The books? Dad, what did you do? We need to get the water in the sisters well quickly before it spreads. Peter, the soldiers are in the abbey. They're coming this way. We need to save as many as the books as we can. No, we need to get out of here. God save us. Ah, get out. Oh, boy. Everybody run. Shit. Peter. Andreas, let's go. I only got a couple of them. I'm sorry, I can't. Andreas with his hands on his head would make a great emote. That is a pretty good emote. Andreas! Oh god. Andreas! Get the fuck out! Oh, I'm still alive. What? Andreas is alive. Andreas! Oh. I did find the Andreas. The Andreas dies in a fire ending. Oh no, he's gonna escape out the ruins. Maybe? Or is this just an artsy ending? This might just be an artsy ending. Oh. Mill burns, Kirsau burns. To all interested parties regarding investments made to Andreas Mahler, artist of Nuremberg, for the creation of a mural in the Church of Our Lady. The chamber court upholds the ruins of Nuremberg City Court in the Council of 1526 and 1527, respectively. All claimants sign contracts containing clauses under which their investments could be returned. As Andreas Mahler's death indisputably resulted from a great, from a greater power, a contractually exempted circumstance, his estate cannot be held liable. In the interest of feminine liberty, his widow, Sabine, retains all contested investments. The 15th day of February, Anno Domini, 1534. I didn't even survive to Act 3. Well, finished Act 2. Does this mean that... Oh, does Casper come back? Hey. Feels like this... <laughs> it's getting cold early this year, doesn't it? 
At my age, it feels like the cold comes earlier every year. Zombie Andreas. That's just what we need, Zombie Andreas. But we need this chill for the leaves to fall and the galls with them. What? You don't want to climb the saint's tree to pull them off? <laughs> Even in my youth, that would have been that would have required divine intervention. No, thank you. I'll stay here on the ground and wait patiently for the Lord to deliver. Zombreus. That's funny. And <laughs> to be continued in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. <laughs> this is the weirdest series. I don't understand. <laughs> don't you have uh, ink back at your father's shop, though? For the press, he has it delivered. This is just for my own drawings. Besides, sometimes it feels nice to do things the old way. An old way it is. I would know. Oh, Hey, Mags. Sister Gertrude. God bless you, Master Zimmerman. I told you not to call me that. What? Mags? Why? People call me Utz. You don't see me complaining. It's not even a name. It's a valley. You like being called Utz. Right? So? Why are you being so stuck up? Master Zimmerman, would you call Mary Magdalene witness to our Lord's death and resurrection? Mags? Uh, I guess not. Then it seems only fitting you should call Mistress Drukkerin by her full Christian name. Alright, sorry sister. Sorry Mags. Magdalene. Anyway, your dad wants to see you. What? Why? Isn't he at the rat house? He is. He wants you to grab his mural sketches and bring them. Ugh, fine. I suppose this is enough galls for now. I was just about finished too. God bless you both. Don't be long, Magdalene. The council's waiting on this. Not sure why this falls on me, but I suppose I better get going. Oh, I'm playing as Magdalene. Hmm, I think I left Dad... Uh, I think uh, Dad left the rat house plans in uh, on his workshop bench at home next to the printing press. Ooh. Oh, Act 3 is this little chill... This, uh, the chilly willies. I want, maybe Andreas just doesn't survive to Act 3 regardless. That would be interesting. All right, but that is where I am going to call it for tonight. Thank you all for hanging out with me. Let me get this closed down. Um, yeah, that's fine. Oh, man, what a ride. But we have made it to Act 3, finally. Good night to you, Scritchy. Tuttle, thanks again for the raid. Thanks for the review of Darkness. Thank you for reinforcing that it should be on my list. And thank you all for being here. It is time for me to drop you all off with someone who's being fun. Let's see, who's online being fun? Um, ooh, we've got a few people on. Let me see here. Let's raid. I haven't raid. Okay, we're going to raid Camping Carl. Oh, yeah, we're going to raid Camping Carl, who is continuing to play Final Fantasy um, 5, 6, 7, 8 Remastered? Yeah, he's playing 8. Let's go see some Final Fantasy 8. I know Nate will be happy. <clears throat> and Camping Carl is a great dude. Carl is one of my favorites. He's just a chill guy. Um, and he's great company. So let's go show him some love. All right. Thank you so much, everybody. Uh, yes, <laughs> that isn't the best Final Fantasy that isn't Tactics. Um, have a great night, everyone. Um, thanks again for coming in. I will see you guys tomorrow where we will continue into Act 3. Toodles. Bye-bye.